Trafford. You get Man United kit on, of course you want to win. You want to do whatever it takes, as always. Very good afternoon, everyone. A big crowd at Old Trafford. What should be quite a treat this afternoon. Stars of the past aiming to put on a show. Some old scores to settle in several cases. Individuals used to handling the pressure and expectation that comes with representing two of world football's best supported clubs. Two of the most decorated as well. Still able to pull in the crowds even now. More than two decades retired in some cases. So there is Paul Breitner, who I refer to in that respect. Paul Scholes certainly more recently retired. Will captain Manchester United today. It will be interesting to see how some of the more recently retired handle those who, of course, hung up their boots decades ago. Intriguing battles in store all over the pitch. So much quality, so many medal winners out there. Remember, this is the second leg of this tie. The first game at the Allianz Arena in Munich last summer ended in a 3-3 draw. It was quite a game as well, really enjoyable. It was a fantastic occasion in Munich, both in and outside of the stadium, as it has been at Old Trafford in Manchester today as well. I tell you, there were some nerves in the tunnel before the game. It was interesting seeing the players coming off their respective coaches. It really does mean a lot to both of them. And we now can look through both sets of lineups. United contains five of the players who started the 99 Champions League final against Bayern. Phil Neville was among the subs that night. Paul Scholes famously missed out through suspension. So many here today hoping to see that famous York and Cole understanding in all its glory again. Cole actually scored a brace in the reverse fixture in Munich last year. Edwin van der Sar is back at Old Trafford. A fraction over 10 years since he signed for United from Fulham. Bayern starting lineup boasts four World Cup winners in Jorginho, Flugler, Paolo Sergio, and team captain Paul Breitner. The latter, the real veteran of the side at 63. The youngest is Daniel van Bouten, who was at the World Cup with Belgium this time last year. In terms of the 99 Champions League final, just the one survivor in the starting 11. That is Alexander Zickler, who started wide left in a front three for Bayern in Barcelona and does the same here as well. Pretty good camaraderie between the two sets of players, as there was in Munich. Two of Europe's most decorated clubs. 45 top flight league titles and eight European Cups between them. Trophy cabinets contributed to greatly by many of the players on show here today. 
multiple league title winners, members of both United's 99 and Bayern's 2001 Champions League winning sides. It should be, Paddy, a lot of fun, this. Oh, yes, I mean, you're, you're talking about kids probably that are here. I've never seen these players playing, and I mean, when they were younger, absolutely magnificent players, both sides. Early touch for Van Bommel, and Skulls and Fortune combine here. I know Quinton Fortune was saying in the lead-up to the game that there would be, just to emphasise Paddy's <laughs> point, youngsters here who get an education today who maybe never saw Paul Skulls yeah. in his prime. Saha, and you'll have noticed already, it's not quite the pace that we're yeah, used what, to seeing. What about that for a pass? Wasn't bad, <laughs> was it? for a pass. <laughs> Turning you it on see already. that very often, do you? York, and now Park. Skulls already finding the space. <laughs> I mean, Paul Skulls has got the ball there, and the fans are telling me to shoot. God almighty, he wasn't that, he was a great player, but not that great. Neville finds York. York involved at the Allianz Arena last summer, as was Cole, who scored a brace in that game. Skulls got the other for United in that 3-3 draw. Board here to Zickler. Niko Kovac. Of course, both the Kovac brothers playing today. The manager and assistant manager these days with the Croatian national side. In fact, they had an international as recently as Friday, a Euro qualifier at home against Italy, which ended 1-1. Just shows you the commitment of these players to be at this match. Yep, yeah, fantastic. The amount of travel they've got to do. Van Bommel lost it forward looking for Zickler. And it's back with Edwin van der Sar, his first touch. Hans Jörg Butter is in goal for Bayern. Of course, was famously, wasn't he, for much of his career in Oliver Kahn's shadow. And he ever earned four caps for his country. A goalkeeper of his quality could perhaps have expected to have earned many more than that. Yeah, he was a bit special, Kahn, the goalkeeper. If there are penalties today, by the way, expect Hans Jörg Butt to maybe take one. He scored 26 <laughs> Bundesliga goals during his career as a penalty specialist. Mackay, former Feyenoord man as well, currently within their coaching setup. Breitner. Niko Kovac. Finding Van Bouten. Less than a year retired, Daniel Van Bouten. In fact, he could have carried on playing, actually. It was an offer from Anderlecht for him to sign a two-year deal there after he was released by Bayern, but decided not to take that up. Here's York for United. Skulls. That's going to get there. He's done well again, the goalkeeper. Dwight York had been a few years younger, he'd have caught that. Given away cheaply here to York, who has Colin support, he might not need him. <laughs> Let's call that a sighter. Yeah, got the crowd excited until he shot. And he makes a real mess of it, doesn't he? Van Bijton will be delighted to see that go over the bar. Actually scored United's first ever competitive goal against Bayern, Dwight York, back in the 98-99 Champions League group stage. Neville. Jason Park with a run through the middle, wasn't used, and now it's Fortune for United. Now Jason Park does get involved, Fortune, York, Coles waiting in the middle. It's been palmed down, the chance for Saha, is it? Well, it wasn't the connection that he would have liked or expected, but it found its way into the back of the net, and Manchester United lead at Old Trafford. Yeah, the goalkeeper makes a good save originally, and he's unfortunate, it goes straight to Saha, who miskicks it. Yeah, it's the shot. The goalie makes a good save, but how unfortunate can you be? Goes straight to Saha and he miss kicks it, but the oh, thing is, it stays down. Goal, goal, 
Yeah, sometimes they go over the bar, it's not his better foot either. There was almost an apologetic look on his face, <laughs> wasn't there? <laughs> yeah, he totally missed kicks it, but it does the job. Goes where he wants it to go. Certainly Fortune was smiling on Louis Saha. United on the attack again with Neville. No nonsense challenge by Flugler to win it back for Bayern. Of course, this now means that United lead by four goals to three on aggregate. We should keep stressing that this is <laughs> effectively a, a two-leg tie. Oh, there's a long way to go yet. Players will get tired out there very quickly. Van Bouten. Jorginho. This is Paolo Sergio. Robert Kovac finds Hans Flugler in the World Cup with Germany in 1990. Zickler up towards Mackay. And the towering header clear was by Jonsson and it's found Paul Scholes. Saha. Really is a great atmosphere at Old Trafford. And supporters turning out in their droves for this Legends game and raising so much money for charity in the process as well for the Manchester United Foundation. It is fantastic to see. Fortune. Now Stamp. Something of a regular with the Soccer Aid fixture, Yap Stamp. He won a league title in each of his three full seasons with Manchester United. Nice touch by Mackay to find Paolo Sergio. Saw the run through the middle of Zickler. Well intercepted by Jonsson. Irwin. Yeah, they're keeping the ball well, United, and just as I say that, just as I say that, Andy Cole gives it away. Now Paolo Sergio, Zickler beyond him, the challenge coming in from Phil Neville. Yeah, I think that's a free kick, you don't want to get away with that, Phil. <laughs> Here the crowd think. <laughs> Booing the referee, but it's a free <laughs> kick. Yeah, he's tackled them from behind. There might be a few in the buying side, he might fancy this. You're, you're right. Oh, it's Mackay, it's going to have the goal, is it? Well, certainly during his playing days he was capable from this sort of range. Niko Kovac is there as well. Van Bouten has come forward from the back, it's Mackay decided to play it short and they got a little bit mixed up there and now United counter Saha and Bouton getting back he did well there Bouton to get back take the ball off him Niko Kovac Zickler now Van Bommel Brightner. Oh, trouble. It's gone astray, and this is York. Fortune making a run forward from midfield. Skulls picks out Phil Neville. York. Fortune in space. As Saha to his left. Cole Central. That's a lovely ball. It's Jason Park. And it's back to him. And now it's York. Still Dwight oh. York. He's enjoying himself out there. Yeah, he's just got the right side of Flugler to get the shot away. Yeah, that's another chance for United to make it too. But Flugler does well here. Doesn't give him a free shot. Although he gets the shot away, it's not in target. <laughs> Wiggler just threw himself down there. He said this was the only game that he put his boots back on for <laughs> Dwight York. 
Said he fully expected the competitive edge to kick back in. I think we're already seeing that, aren't we? Ah, oh, well, as I said, you're a player, you want to win regardless. Skulls. Jason Park. What's his last club in the UK? It's QPR, sent on loan to PSV in the Eredivisie. Irwin. <laughs> I don't think Saha wanted that. He got a white Saha, and that's why he's pulled his ankle. Nico Kovac, buying on the counter. Zikla. Nico Kovac continues his run. Paolo Sergio arriving as well. Stan didn't know where the ball was for a moment there. Now it's Brightner. Oh, Paul, that's a free kick. Paul <laughs> Skulls doesn't think so. Yeah, it's a free kick, that, no question. <laughs> and there's one of those famous tackles. Yes. It was never occasional, those challenges. It was all the time from Paul. And this one's a little bit closer, actually, this yeah. free kick. Yeah, they might have a go here. Mackay lining up again. And they got themselves in a bit of a tangle with the last one. By it, They're trying to play it short. It looks certain here that Roy Mackay will go for goal. Such a prolific striker in his day. Yep, Stan was in the way of it. York. Phil Neville. Skulls. Oh, Paul, what have you done? It's a mistake, and surely it will be an equaliser. It is. It's Alexander Zickler, who, of course, is the only player in the starting lineup today for Bayern, who started against Manchester United in that famous Champions League final in 99. Well, that would be special for him. Well, he wished he had got a pass like this from Paul's goals then. No, Paul didn't play, obviously, but... Paul, what have you done? Not like you. Yeah, the back pass, no chance for the goalkeeper. He took it very well all the same, took his time. Change being made as well. As we see Zickler with that easy task of finishing the opportunity for Bayern, levelling the score on the day and indeed on aggregate to make it 4-4. Niko Kovac, well read by Ji Sung Park. Stamp. Well, you're asking a lot again, Paul. You're asking a lot again. Nearly got there. Jesper Cole. Blomqvist. Skulls up in support. Neville's forward from right back. Here he is now, Phil Neville. Wide now for Fortune. York and Cole both in the middle. Too high for them, but not for Jason Park. <laughs> and it's it, eventually. I think it was in the first time. I think it was over the line the first time. But good football by United again. Good build-up for the goal. I'm not sure who scored it, but there was such a melee in there. Who's claiming it? I think it was over the line the first time anyway. I'm sure it was. We'll see here. It's great football again by United. The ball in's a terrific ball in. Is this going in? It was difficult to see, wasn't it? We need goal line technology. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's claiming it? I think you need to call that one, Paddy. <laughs> Who's claiming it? I think Andy Cole will make your own mind up. <laughs> well, it's Dwight York. Who was it? I think they have to sort that out amongst themselves. <laughs> but I think it was over maybe the first time, but we didn't get a clear view of it. Here can Bayern, though, looking to hit back immediately. Zickler over the head of Mackay, comes oh. for Tarnat. Well, you're asking a lot there again. 
I have to say, though, what a move by United. That was brilliant, wasn't that it? That was great football. There's been great football from both sides, actually. Well, the quality of player that's out there, you'd expect that, wouldn't you? Paolo Sergio. Is there another 3-3 three, three on here? It's looking like it. Tana. Oh, that great Challenged one. by Dublin, who has just come on, by the way, to replace Jonsson. And we've seen Silvestri come on to replace Owen at left back. I just think he caught him in the back of the an ankle. It's in a good position as well, just on dead on the 18-yard line. Uh, he's just clipped him. Not a lot in it, but it's a sore one. Well, what's he going to do here? Sometimes it's very difficult. Well, you're so close to the goal at that. Very, very difficult to get up and over the wall. But the quality of player that's out there, possibilities of doing it. Almost too close. Yeah. You think sometimes you better keep it low. So a good Johnson opportunity. Off and Dean. Dublin on. They're making changes so quickly down there. We're getting caught. Real opportunity here for Paolo Sergio, who won the free kick and now will take it. Has a will wonderful they keep right it, foot. Will, will they keep it low? This will tell us he's left it and it's Tarn out! Oh. What a good finish! Straight. And Bayern again are on terms. Straight through the wall. The wall didn't do its job properly, did it? I just said, will he play it over the wall, too close to the goal? Will he play it low? He did. It's hit a defender anyway, it's hit somebody in the wall, but it doesn't matter. He's kept it down and it's finished up in the back of the net. Mentioned earlier that he was something of a free kick specialist during his playing career, Tarnat. Yeah. And it wasn't a bad routine, that, was it? I think it's took a little bit of a deflection, but I think it would have been difficult for the goalkeeper anyway. Well, there's one thing a big crowd enjoy, even though it's a match like this, plenty of goals, that's what they love. Well on our way now to another 3-3. Three, 5-5 three. Five, five on aggregate. Fortune finds skulls. Can United get themselves back in front before half-time? Jason Park. Played wide here by York to Phil Neville. There's a queue of United players inside the penalty area, but it was over all of them the cross from Phil Neville. Zickler trying to bring it down. He's had a really good first half, Zickler. Paolo Sergio. He's away again, Zickler looking for the return. He's not getting it. Absolutely full of energy. He is, isn't he? he had terrible injury problems during his playing career, Alexander Zickler. In fact, recovered from three shin breaks during his time at Bayern. That's amazing, that, isn't it? Three times. Three times, yeah, really suffered badly with it. He's an academy coach at Red Bull Salzburg these days. Blomquist, outside of him is Silvestri. All the way across here for Dwight York. Supported by Phil Neville. Blomquist, Jisung Park, chance to hit it, and it's there! Great and it's football. Andy Cole for Manchester United. Well, terrific football again from United. Well, as I'm saying, the club crowd are loving this. I know they love it because United were ahead, but 3-2 and it's not half-time yet. Very good entertainment. Well, he tried to put it over the bar, but didn't get enough on it. 290 career goals for Andy Cole. He scored a brace in the first leg at the Allianz Arena last summer. And on target again, this time at Old Trafford. Just like the old days. York. Goals. 
6-5 Manchester United lead. <laughs> Welcome back to Old Trafford, where Manchester United lead 6-5 on aggregate as we prepare for the start of the second half, 3-2 on the day. And it was a fantastic, really entertaining first half. I know Paddy Crerand alongside me really enjoyed it. It was, it was terrific to watch. I think when you get a crowd like this and it's a charity match, more like goals is what people want. And we've seen some terrific goals, especially against both, well, both teams scoring on goals. But it's been great entertainment. We have already seen several changes, expect to see plenty more in the second half. Here's Blomqvist, who was one of those who did come on in the first half. Silvestre, Dennis Irwin it was, who'd started at left back. Skulls, rotation very much the key in these sort of games. Neville, that's the second time we've seen the step-overs from Phil Neville. <laughs> Skulls. Mikhail Silvestre finds Blomqvist. High cross in towards York, and an easy claim for Hans Jörg Butt. He was actually a, a day tripper to Old Trafford not too long ago, he was saying Hans Jörg Butt brought his young son over as a treat to Old Trafford for a game, as a, a present for how well he'd been doing at learning English. Oh, that's terrific, though. Eason Park, as you can see, withdrawn at the break. Karol Poborski, one of those who's come on for Manchester United. Former Czech Republic international, signed by United, you might remember, after a wonderful performance reaching the final, the Czech Republic in 1996. Marcel Vitacek has come on as well for Bayern. Niko Kovac withdrawn. Marcel Vitacek, 46 years old. And three trophies including two Bundesliga titles during his time at Bayern. And we can tell you that Marcus Schupp has come on as well at half-time. As I mentioned, plenty of changes. Skulls in the way of that pass, and now Fortune gives it back to Skulls, run through the middle by York, Poborski. Phil Neville. Oh dear, not a very good ball, that. Sliding in there was Scaldino. That's a lovely ball forward here to Paolo Sergio, but the flag has belatedly gone up. He thought he was away there, didn't he, the Brazilian? I'm, I'm not sure he was offside. I'm not sure he was offside at all. I'm not going to say, but I don't think he's offside. Oh, well, he is. He's well offside, isn't he? I'm, I need to go to Specsavers. <laughs> it's Dwight York. Furthest forward alongside him was Poborski. York and now Skulls. Fortune. Almost had it taken off him by Tarnat. Skulls made sure uh, that Manchester United kept possession. Poborski. And United up the tempo a little bit here. Poborski seeking out York. Well defended, though, by Bayern through Oliver Kreuzer. A great ball. <laughs> They're a disguised pass for you from Paul Scholes. Tricks are coming out. Oh, well played fullback as well. Gaudino. Looking for a dead ball. He's under pressure from Jesper Blomqvist. Never actually played for Bayern, Maurizio Gaudino. His son Gianluca, you might be aware, has come through the academy at Bayern and made eight Bundesliga appearances this season. Also made his Champions League debut, Gianluca. He came through the Bayern academy alongside Mehmet Scholl's son, Lucas Scholl. Skulls. York. Now Phil Neville for Manchester United. Had a clear wish by Oliver Kreutzer. It's all United at the moment, though. Cole. Oh, he's just slipped at the wrong time, hasn't it?
Zickler. Oh, it's out. He looks very fresh, Ziggler, doesn't he? He's made some great runs down that left-hand side. 41 years young, Alexander Zickler. In 19 major trophies. Longest time with Bayern. Blomquist. Silvestri. Boborski. Promising for United. Is he offside? No. Black stay down. It's Phil Neville. <laughs> it's a good save by oh. Hanshard, but saw the whites of the goalkeeper's eyes there, <laughs> Phil Neville. Yeah, and he's getting a few words from Andy Cole and Paul Scholes, and I don't think they'll be very nice. Andy inside the box, Paul Scholes in the edge of the 18 yard line, and an impossible angle. Look at Andy Cole over his hands up. I wonder what he's saying. Phil Neville looks for Skulls and it was Tarnat who was there. Well, there's a break on here. Real opportunity this for Bayern as they seek to try and level things up at Old Trafford. Gaudina. Paolo Sergio runs through the middle. Zickler did as well, but how about that for anticipation from Mikael Silvestre. Maurizio Gaudina. Tarnat. Gaudino looks to be... Fouled by Yapstam, who points at the ball, but I think he got a fair chunk of Gaudino as well. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, Yap, was there? Nothing wrong with that challenge. <laughs> I got the ball. We saw a few of them. He got everything, Trafford, didn't he? He got everything. <laughs> Man, ball. <laughs> Gaudino, you might remember, was the player who was famously in a another charity game a long time ago, famously taken out by Boris Johnson by a... I don't know if you remember that. What a famous moment in the charity. I remember it. I'm sure there'll be some people watching you do. Yeah. <laughs> Tarnat's there again. Hello, Sergio is there! Oh, what a good effort! Oh, what a fantastic chance for Zickler from the rebound, which he couldn't take. Oh, he'd be disappointed with that. He's come back too quick off the bar. What a great free kick. I mean, he's out far enough to attempt that. Terrific. Unfortunately, it's not finished up the net. So unlucky by it. Alexander Zickler in the perfect position. It looked to make the most of the rebound, but... Came at him at some pace and unable to keep it down. And more changes being made then as Edwin van der Sar is replaced here by a very popular man at Old Trafford, Raymond van der Hout. Always so reliable when called upon, Raymond van der Hout. Remember a great performance against Dortmund in the 96-97 Champions League semi-final. Also against a quarter-final or a call as well against Monaco the following year. York. What a great ball. In towards Cole! Oh. He thought he was guiding it to the far post, but he was too much under it. Couldn't get any direction on it at all. Gaudina. Mackay's an option through the middle. Rummenigge in support as well. Oh, good ball. Great diverting run by Zickler. And the chance for Vitacek was well <laughs> held by van der Hau. His first contribution was a good one. Paborski. The Mexican wave going round Old Trafford now. Paborski. Phil Neville. Skulls. Well, the crowd's certainly enjoying the day out, aren't they? Nah, it's been a brilliant day all yeah. in all, hasn't it? With everything that preceded the match as well. And you think about all the valuable funds that are being raised for the Manchester United Foundation as well. Mentioned earlier in 2013, it was a million pounds for the Real Madrid game. You would anticipate something similar.
They're just a fantastic idea, these Legends games, aren't they? Ah, oh, it's great. I mean, as I said earlier on, great names that people haven't seen before. 12 minutes to go. Can Brian Robson's side get the victory? Remember, they lead 6-5 on aggregate after that 3-3 draw at the Allianz Arena in the first leg. Dublin graces our TV screens on a regular basis these days, Dion Dublin. Daytime TV. Vaborski. That's a really good run by Jesper Blomqvist, and it's well held by Butt. Terrific save. Terrific save. Great little ball over, but the goal and it's a great save by the goalkeeper. You think he's sure to score, don't you? But no. Well done, goalkeeper. Really good reactions. Michael Rumenegger. Certainly have had chances United to finish this off as a contest. I just wonder whether it could come back to haunt them. Paolo Sergio. Vitacek. Gaudina. Up towards Zickler, well read by Dion Dublin. Yeah, that's for his height coming in use then. Gaudino. Vitacek. Had a clear by Yapstam. Let's go pitch side, shall we, where Mark Sullivan is speaking to Quinton Fortune and Dwight York. Well, that was going on, United missed a great chance, didn't they? Great chance. Well, those two... Oh, just dear me, that's tiredness. Got through plenty of work out there today. Can those who remain out there on the pitch for United finish the job for them? Buying on the attack, good effort, well saved by... Well, it's staying in as Van well. Out. It's just about stayed in, yeah. Michael Sturmkamp it was with the effort for Bayern. It's travelling too. Lee Martin. Ben Thornley. Clayton Blackmore finds Andy Ritchie. Run beyond him by Carol Paborski, who's onside. And look at this run by Blomquist! That should do it. Finished off in style by Jesper Blomqvist. Brilliant play by Karol Paborski. Lovely Manchester United move.
Yeah, but I'm just looking at the run from Blomquist. Oh, dear me. He's not run, he's not run as quick as that since he was probably playing. I mean, it's a great ball in, isn't it? Slight doubt about whether he's on or not, but that doesn't matter. It's a great run in. Does well at control it. Because it has to be played in quickly by Paborski to get by the defender. But he gets there. Yeah, he does well there. Great pace in the cross. Takes it well as well. And I guess fitting as well that one of the players who started in 99 in the final against Bayern gets the goal that potentially seals the deal here for Manchester United legends, although there is still time for Bayern. He's the manager that can bring himself on, can't he? Gaudino. Oh, he's on. Well done, job, Sam. Really good header. Silvestre. Blackmore couldn't quite get there. Vitacek finds Breitner. Zickler. Paolo Sergio. Zickler. If they could get one here, by it would make the closing stages very, very interesting. interesting. Yeah. Oh, dear me, dear me. Tangle between Paolo Sergio and Dion Dublin. Yeah, you were thinking the other might have given a penalty, but no. Nervous end to proceedings for Raymond Almond, the buying coach. Looks as though his side have been left with too much to do here. I don't think they'll be playing many or much injury time. Two and a half minutes. I would imagine there'll be several players out there hoping that they don't. <laughs> They'll be feeling this in the morning, won't they? Stamp. I'll tell you what, Stamp has looked incredibly oh, fresh, hasn't he? For a what a great player he was here. Sylvester. Dublin. Is it back again off Beardsmore? Great spirit that the game's been played in as well. It should be pointed out, I think. Ah, oh, all the players have a great respect for each other. Particularly when you're two clubs such as United and Bayer and your lobes have... Oh, what a chance, Sandy. The lobes have great respect for each other. Well, they could see the funny side of it. Andy Ritchie. I tell you what, that's by no means the first time he's made really clever run. Yeah. And got himself in behind Andy Ritchie. Didn't get the right connection. Be interesting to know what the crowd was here. There's nobody to tell us. I haven't had what it. What kind of an attendance to myself? Been. It's very healthy, I think we can safely say. Oh, without question. As it was at the Allianz Arena as well in the first leg. Gaudino. <laughs> he was getting tired there very, very quickly, Gaudino. <laughs> Stonecop with the throw in for Bayern. Michael Rumenegger. Zickler, who perhaps doesn't deserve to be on the losing side, really. He's been terrific, hasn't he? So is this man, Paolo Sergio. It's just been one of those days, really, for him. It's not just quite worked in that final third. That's it. 
Well, it's United's legends who prevail at Old Trafford. 3-3 it was at the Allianz Arena in the first leg. But it's Manchester United, managed by Brian Robson, Captain Marvel, have won by four goals to two here. 7-5, it finishes on aggregate. Well, quite rightly, we're seeing the focus here on the Manchester United Foundation. It's been a fantastic day for all concerned in terms of that and lots of money raised that these people here will make sure goes to some very well, good Well, that, that's the most important thing. I mean, the crowd has been really a smashing game to watch, great entertainment for everybody. But at the end of the day, there's a vast amount of money going to charity. I mean, you're thinking just over 50,000. Great crowd. Fantastic. It's been a two-way street, hasn't it? We've seen the big-name players turn out in their droves, doing their bit, the supporters of done theirs too and then as you say Paddy the entertainment was there as well just as it was in Germany oh, terrific, in the first terrific I mean when you come to games like this you want to see plenty of goals and we've seen plenty of that Carol Dabowski there who but what a great, part what a, in that last goal but what a great relationship that it's become between the, the, the likes of Manchester United and Bayern you know when you get a team coming all this way from Germany to play in a charity a charity match terrific Terrific that, but then again, two clubs that have great respect for each other. Well, I think that has been the key word, hasn't it? Respect, and we've yeah. seen the, the game played in a really great spirit as well. And it's Paul Scholes, the captain, <laughs> who is going to get the pleasure of lifting the trophy here for Manchester United. Lifted 25 trophies during his playing career. And even now, in retirement, Paul Scholes is being presented with trophies. There's the big smile. And Manchester United win the 2015 Legends Cup. God almighty, what was that? <laughs> I don't think they were expecting that, were they? Oh, certainly I wasn't. <laughs> It's been a great day. Well, when you look at those two getting the trophy, more or less, Bobby Sharp and Paul Scholes, you could do with those two players playing in your midfield, couldn't you? Well, it's been fantastic to see them, hasn't it, again? That's why so many people have turned out. We saw Yap Stam play for 90 minutes as yeah. well. I think we should mention that. Uh, what a player as well. What a player at this club he was. And we should say as well what a part that Bayern have played as well. Maybe in the background here as Manchester United are presented with the trophy and take the spoils, but... Bayern have travelled a long way, their players, and of course will have waved over the commitments, no doubt, as well. Oh, they'll have enjoyed coming here. Great for them to come to a club like United and come to a stadium like this and get a crowd in like we've had in here today who have enjoyed every minute of it.